I'm Amy. I'm Farrell. And that man right over there is Mr. Dave Baggett from the Ogden Raptors. Uh, yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> so the season's getting ready to start really soon. And let me apologize right up front. If I call the ballpark a stadium, please don't. I, I, you barrels. wouldn't have to warn me. I would correct you. Yeah. Immediately. And why I don't, don't you like it to be called a stadium? Football's played in stadiums. It's true. Baseball's played in a ballpark. He's ignorant. I'm from Idaho. Hockey, basketball, arena, arena. Thank yes. you. Oh. We play <laughs> we play baseball in a ballpark. The thing about him is he likes the truth. Yeah. So stadium. or his version of it. Exactly. That's correct. That's better. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever my imagination conjures up. I'm right there with you. So how you must be so excited about this time of year because it's when everything comes uh, to I, I'll actually again. get more excited uh, opening day because all the production's done. Right now it's a madhouse over at the ballpark trying to get everything ready, finishing up with the signs, washing things down, sweeping things out, yeah. inventorying a thousand things, foods being delivered. I never knew that we needed 37 gallons of relish. Oh, wow. But, I mean, gallons. people have no idea what it takes to put on a ball game where you average about 3,300 to 3,800 fans per game. Mm -hmm. Some nights we have less, some nights we have, you know, over 6,000 people. Mm -hmm. And all of it has to be planned in advance. And if you don't do it correctly, you're going to fall short. <laughs> it's so, a disaster. It's a lot of fun. But for me, as soon as the first pitch is thrown, your shoulders go from here to here, <laughs> and then the season just plays out, and you're just, you just manage it. Yeah. It's easy for that. So what, is, what is the toughest thing that you have to do down there to get ready? I mean, what's the thing that you're always worried about? It's always down to the wire to get it done. Is Rosters. Roster. Oh, well, yeah, because it changes so we, much, right? We, the, gate, the season starts Monday in Orem, mm -hmm. where um, the Orem Owls, yes. with a Z. With a Z. <laughs> it is with a it's Z. Very yeah, well, they put you to sleep down there, so oh. you need the Z. Oh, yes. Oh. Um, <laughs> but the players aren't going to get here till tomorrow night. Oh, wow. And so now Sunday, you got to wake up. You got to get all those players to come in and take their mug shots for the game program that mm -hmm. has to go to print Sunday night <laughs> when they shouldn't be open. Yeah. So thank you to Elvis Printing for helping us with that. You got to get all their bios. You got to get everything done. Oh, you got to issue the uniforms. They got to, you know, it's just, it's, and you got many of these kids coming here for the first time from all over the world mm -hmm. that have never left their country. And so they're running around with their heads cut off, not knowing what to do. Then they go out and work out for a day, and they're in the altitude, and they're gagging. Oh, yeah. yeah. They I need oxygen. Mm -hmm. And then they hop on the bus, you know, Monday morning at noon and go get them, guys. How about it? Right? Yeah. You've done so, this before. At least for us, we have two extra days before our first home game. So, so excuse me for sounding ignorant. No, no, I'm, you're I'm, not ignorant. I'm new to this area. Um, so it, are these baseball games, are they uh, – Minor leagues? Yes. Okay, because I grew up in Cape Cod, and so every go. summer... Well, Cape Cod's not professional. Well, Cape it's Cod the, is a um, collegiate summer league. Okay, well, they come and, like, practice or something? I yes. just remember they no, were... This, this, Carly Simon threw out the first pitch, and I sang the national anthem Good. Did day. she give away ketchup or anything? No, it was just cool. <laughs> she was totally Anticipation? useless. She was useless. She didn't know much behind That went... She did say that her voice was too low to sing the anthem, so that's why. Well, she is 100 now, so you never know. She wasn't then. Anyway, just, it, it was interesting because a lot of those kids grew up, I guess, to be on minor leagues. Right. They come, they come from all over the country to play in the Cape Cod League, too. Okay. Very similar, but our players are professional players that are either beginning of their careers or maybe are in their second or third season that get sent back to us to work on some things, maybe try a new position, get some seasoning. Exciting. Um, yeah, and then they're paid. Our, our, our Major League Parrot Club, for those who um, have never been to a Raptors game, are, are, or for the youngins who are with grow the up Los Angeles do Dodgers. Mm -hmm. So our players will progress up the ladder of success if they're lucky, and it takes a lot of luck to get there. I bet. Um, eventually to play in Dodger Stadium. Like last year's National League Rookie of the Year was mm -hmm. uh, Corey Seager, who played for us in 2014. I was just Excuse gonna, me, 2012. Awesome. I was just going to ask you, how many how many players have gone from the Raptors to have a major league career? Roughly 5%. Oh, really? So, so the odds are still way against you. Even if you're a number one draft pick who signed a bonus for $3.5 million, mm -hmm. you still have to get lucky. Meaning you have to go injury free to oh. get there. Now, and the more money off. a player signs for, the longer that major league club will hang on to him, even if he's not doing well, because they don't want to admit they made a mistake on a <laughs> on a player that they gave a ton so of dough to. So they're kind of like a female in that respect. They don't ever miss it. They make mistakes. I I Just don't listen. To I them. I don't know what you're talking about there. <laughs> Fair That's for all you girls out there. That's right. I'm sorry. We'll just keep it between A and B, yeah. and you can see your way out of it. Oh, snap. <laughs> snap. 
<laughs> All right, so you have some exciting things coming up. Yes. Uh, we, we, we're we starting. We're starting the season. Okay, Wednesday night is the home opener. Wednesday, June 21st, 7 p.m. I'm also the public address announcer. Uh, oh. You'll be the alternate, though. We'll have you fill it. Excellent, because I can do a really good can voice say, that I learned from Jen Burke. Do, go deep and say, now batting. Now batting. Number no. five. Now batting. Number five. Shortstop. I have to work on it. Shortstop. <laughs> Shortstop. Feral. Licious. Feral. Licious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he just slid into third and he ripped his pants. Okay. There Moving you go. on to commercial. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, <laughs> where was I? Um, oh, opening night. Opening yes. night. So, you know, the, we've got new, we changed our uniform design, so we're going to unveil the new uniforms. We've got all new coaching. Well, we got a, a new skipper, a new manager. Mm -hmm. uh, Mark Katanian will be leading the troops this year. So uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Then we have post-game fireworks after the game, <gasps> sponsored by Amair Sports. So, uh, yeah. I just well, like you things are, that are sparkly. You're already sparkly, like, Amy. So, Sorry. Yeah. You already make the Rockets red glare, so uh, <laughs> you make I'm getting a cheese. cavity. I'm so sweet, <laughs> oh right? Gosh. No, anyway, um, but it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, this is our 24th year. It's hard to believe that we've gone this far uh, in 24 years because it still feels like a lot of the things we're doing, we're just beginning. Well, and you guys, I mean, you do different crazy stuff, different nights, and what is, what is it you do? Like, you have ugly oh, shirts? Well, well we, yeah. we have different promotions that will go on throughout the season, but we also have... Uh, uh, the same things going on every night of the week. No. That promotions go on top of those. For example, every Monday night this year is a mini Monday. So you know what bobblehead dolls are? Yes. Well, we we I like the miniature ones. Mm -hmm. you know, like, oh, oh, oh. I like so, anything that's mini. <laughs> Uh, well, let it go. Let it go. Let it go. So, many, many bops. So, we're, every Monday night, we're going to give away to the first 500 fans a miniature bobblehead of a former Raptor player who went on to greatness. Uh -huh. uh, Prince Fielder, when we were with the Milwaukee Brewers, will be one. Uh, Kenley Jansen, who's the Dodgers closer. Jock Peterson, their center fielder. Corey Seeger, their shortstop, rookie of the National League rookie. And then we're doing um, Tommy Lasorda. When he managed for the Ogden oh, yeah. Dodgers in 1968. Nuh -uh. So really? we're doing those every Monday night. It's going to be fantastic. And then Tuesdays, are we're bringing back Taco Tuesdays. I love Dollar it. tacos. Stop it. And, you know, it's funny because I sit in the press box and we watch, you know, there's People, no limit on how many you can get. So they're bringing back boxes of tacos. Ugh. Like one guy brought, he, he had $18 tacos in his little carry thing. Yeah. But not anything to drink. Oh, that's horrible. So, <laughs> you guys so are watching him. The whole like, point oh. of giving you something with lots of calories and lots of salt was hoping you'd buy something <laughs> to drink with it. So, you don't have to, but dollar tacos, yeah, it's a big hit. You well, have to drink something with a taco. I imagine Absolutely. it's sunny out there, too. It probably gets a little warm. It, so well, it does. It is to, a desert. We do live in a desert. People need to hydrate. Wednesdays is new this year. It is Ugly Outfit Wednesdays. I'll win that every time. You're winning it now. Yeah. <laughs> so every, we encourage all fans on Wednesday, which includes the home opener next Wednesday, uh, to wear the ugliest thing you can wear. And the press box and the people in there will determine who's going to win prizes. I know. Like we'll get, you might get a Raptors t-shirt, certainly. Oh, do yeah. they like put you on the big screen? Do you we're working screen? on that. Not yet, but we're, but we're working Sorry, on Sorry, I think big. But also, one lucky fan is going to win a $100 gift card to a local department store. Oh, wow, that'd be I'm awesome. not naming the department store because I and couldn't get them to give the me the... I had to buy the gift card, Amazon. so I'm not going to give them any credit for it. Amazon. But it, it is a fine clothing store at the Newgate Mall. I'm going to win. It's not Sears. I'm no, it's gonna not. I'm going to win. Um, <laughs> well, Sears is a fine store. So we love Sears. So do you have... Um, Show, you have shows. You have. I play music, so you have a, a thingies every night. I I definitely do. <laughs> we have thingies every. Bill, we have thingies every you night. You have games. I don't know why I couldn't think of that word. Promotions. I, oh no! I mean, you actually have actual games every night of the week. Well, no. I mean, we play Wednesday, Thursday next week. Okay. Then they go on the road for four days. Then we come home for seven days. Okay. Then they go on the road for seven days. So when days you're and here and there is a Tuesday, it'll be Taco Right, Tuesday. correct. Oh, okay. Correct. I just, you just can't get into the stadium on a Tuesday and get another taco. And and you can't. It just might not even be No needed. one will be there. You, 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 you show up next Tuesday. I'll bring a little cart. You just stand out in front of the gate and we'll wait. We'll bring you tacos 
as soon as we can. Okay. <laughs> Thursday. Where was I? Ugly outfit. So wear the ugliest thing you could. You can possibly. like an orm owl. Like stripes on right. pla- oh, or orm owls will win you something every time. <laughs> That's good. I like that, Farrell. Like With a Z. <laughs> With a Z. Don't say stripes on plaid because that's like totally in right now. So. Is it really? Yeah. Well, I hear the back east like the mat- guys are wearing onesies now. That's popular. E- onesie shorts to boot. Yeah. That's a whole different yeah, like segment. Yeah, Farrell's got the legs. He can pull it off. Though. Yeah, well. I just wanted to say one thing before we get like a lot. Some people think that baseball is boring, right? Oh, but yeah. I tend to think. Yes, it can be if it's on the TV, but it's such a family event, and you're bringing everyone out, and you're having these fun nights, and I think, like, what a great summer thing to bring your kids to, bring the whole family out, bring grandma, put her under an umbrella, right? Stick a taco in her, and have a great night. <laughs> I just think it's good. Well, thank you for the lead in. Yeah. But you're absolutely right. This is our 24th year, and we've spent all that time previous to... Prove to the to the person who's not a baseball fan that the that going to a Raptors games is is the thing to do. I would say, and and I don't think anybody can really debate it because you know there's a few of us that have that experience of being there every day. But I would think that out of our entire audience, maybe 20 percent of them are baseball purists that are there. The other people are just there for the social endeavor. Yes, you're in downtown Ogden. It's a beautiful summer mm-hmm. night. You got the I'm best view in baseball. Look, it's right there on the screen. Ever. You can't like, behind look at us. That. It's behind us. Oh, it, and there's right nothing here. beats like the sound of like <laughs> crack in the like, Yeah, the crack this but nothing beats. It's it. about it's about you know, we all we live in a what's the word about it? We live in a very stressful time now. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of negative things going on really? nationally and worldwide. What is that? People are worried about paying their bills and paying their mortgages and everything else. The ballpark is a place to go where you can forget about that garbage for a couple hours. Mm -hmm. Come out to the park, forget about what your problems are, get a bag of peanuts, a hot dog, a cold beer, whatever you want, soda, sit down and just enjoy these kids striving to attain a goal of being a Major League Baseball player. Uh Chances are there's going to be entertainment involved. We're going to give stuff away. There's going to be a dog and pony show going on every night. (laughs) And... You know, have some fun for crying out loud. Then you could go home and worry about your problems all over again. Right. But the ballpark, right, it is the place to be in the summer for O Town. And it's the ballpark. It. A lot of the a lot of the people that are there are like they're their buddies. They go to the ballpark just to hang out. I bet they'd go even if there wasn't a game. We have season ticket holders that have best friends because They've, they've had years of tickets sitting next to each other. I believe that. And uh, that's always fun to see. Do you guys have a merch booth? Oh, yes. We have a souvenir stand, yes. And you have They're lots of souvenir souvenirs. Stand the we have lots oh, of souvenirs. souvenir stands. <laughs> no, we have, we have merch. <laughs> I love merch. We have, I say it every well, we have lots of merch. for. We have some really good stuff that is female designed. You know, so it's got the nice... Yeah. Women's cuts, like pots and pans. Not just, just the guy's it. t-shirt. Oh, I would just take a guy's t-shirt and cut it. Oh, myself. I think I think I don't have... care what it is. It can can you cut his right now? Absolutely. No, we don't want to make that. that no, we cute. don't want all that pudding to fall out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is bought and paid for. Yeah, no pudding. Most expensive thing I own. They're That's nice. right. No, so, but I mean, there's there's something balls. for everybody. And then, what's the demographic? It's four to ninety-four. Yeah. Um, and we have, there's something for everybody. I mean, we have it's designed where you don't have to walk more than 68 feet to get some to eat or drink. Oh, and then we have sweet. vendors in the stands that'll come and bring you stuff. Like, peanuts, get your popcorn, girl. She's hired. She's got a job, yeah. yeah no, she'd be a beer seller. <gasps> I would, huh? Yeah. Or, do or I get the, tips? the 50 you 50 sure Sign me up because no one in this town will hire me. <laughs> oh. That's for another segment. <laughs> it's a job interview all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just try to see what I can do. To well, what it is, you know, in life, if you it was do a it. closed interview, we'd have some follow-up questions. So we'll, <laughs> we'll let that go. Anyway, back. So, there's, your question was awesome. Thank you. You don't have to be a baseball fan. Come out to the ballpark. If you don't like it, I'll, I'll, I'll do something for you. So you make sure you do like it. What are people looking at price-wise? Um, um, so I can start free. Collecting there's their... free tickets. How much do you got? Well, no, I mean a walk up a walk up price for a reserve seat for the best seat in the house is twelve dollars. Nice, but we have many things going on where you shouldn't have to do that. Well, twelve dollars is less than 
uh, the price of a movie in some right. places. And well, we, we got some happens. nights where, where it's America First Credit Union night, where if you have your own America First account, you show your Visa or debit card, you get in free mm -hmm. on their night. Warren's is doing a night where they've got free tickets at Warren's. All that stuff, when you go to our website at ogden-raptors.com, you'll find it. Are you on social media? We are on social media. We got Great. and our social media is banging. Yeah, right now. well, that's where we find. It's that's massive. where I find all my like codes uh, or like contests. We've got Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. I do nothing about running any of it. I have. That's what I have people for. Do you ever do a Snapchat I need to get filter? People. I, I, I know what a coffee filter is. I'm going to make I'm, you do one. Snapchat filter. It'll, it'll, give you, it'll give you ears like a rabbit. And then your voice will sound like this. And oh, like, I've heard of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's no, done it. I don't know if we have one. I am trying to sell tickets. Yeah. Uh, so if that happens, But every, every promotion we do has a uh, has a video promoting those things upcoming. So if you, especially if you go to the Facebook, uh, we're working on having our own Facebook channel soon and our own YouTube channel. Awesome. Uh, in fact, the Imagination Company is going to be uh, producing a game that's going to be airing on a YouTube channel as well as here on the, the local access channel. Imagination so. Company is what? Yeah, this, this, makes this happen, deal. this magic. This <laughs> whole thing <laughs> here. Yep. So it's uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome. And I heard through the grapevine like you're gonna have a, like some. Marvin Gaye will not be appearing at the ballpark. Oh. No, well, never mind. ALC will. Okay, the grapevine. You mentioned a grapevine. I heard it through the grapevine. Oh yeah, that I, I was just giving myself a plug again. I was trying to get in to sing the national anthem. ALC. That's in the my, Oh. They're my initials. It's like my gangster Mine's name. Mine's D-I-B. <gasps> you don't want to know. what. Do you my, know what? Before they went on the computer, what my medical folder said when they pulled it out of the file. D-I-B? Huh? No, they didn't have the I part. <laughs> Do you know what I called it? It's the first three initials of your last name. I used to call... D. Uh, I used to call my dog D.I.B. because it would go in a bag. So my dog, dog's name is dog, Stay. Dog in bag. D.I.B. Very good. My dog's name is Stay. So he says it. Come here. Oh, stay. Stay. Is it really? Come, stay. Yeah, it's a lot of anxiety. No, it's not. <laughs> it gave me um, anxiety. Anyway, back to Thursdays. <laughs> Thursdays is going to be Thirsty Thursdays where we have uh, half-price fountain drinks. And uh, there's, a, there's a soda fountain station right oh, over here. There it is, right there. Yeah. Half price fountain drinks. There's all over right the ballpark. About here. It's all down the court, anywhere yeah, underneath as well. Oh. Um, Wait, that's I'd love to do the weather. Um, I tried it once I in Park it. City. It was awful. Anyway. Yeah. Um, again, and also uh, two dollar canned, twelve ounce, and draft domestic beer wow. on Thursday. Two. Two dollars. Wow. Not so. two for a dollar. No, I just shouted in the echo. Chamber. And then uh, we used to do fry, uh, fireworks every Friday night. Mm -hmm. Although we have four fireworks nights scheduled, including this Wednesday, uh, June 21st, for opening night against the Orem Owls with a Z. <laughs> right. um, uh, Friday nights, we're going to change to free tea Fridays. So we're going to be giving away an allotment of free T-shirts. Oh, I need a T-shirt. Uh, like every like Friday, every no, as they enter the gate, the people as they come oh. through the gate, and there's going to be a different design each Friday. So if you get there soon enough, you can collect the whole set. There'll be six of them. I'm going every Friday. I want the whole set because I can like make things out of all of them, like dresses or like. Well, we'll talk when the show's over. Right. <laughs> Saturday. Be the first time Saturday is date night, and mm. that's always a popular one. It's uh, you pay for your ticket, and we'll pay for your date's ticket. And then every gal that comes through the gate, at least until we run out, we, we try to give them a long stem rose when they come into the ballpark. Oh, how nice. So, so it's you like... You deserve a bouquet. Thank man. you. I was going to say one. Uh, okay. Well, what is this, The Bachelor? <laughs> <laughs> well, it is a ballpark. Yeah, not a stadium. They're there, you know. <laughs> They're very good. It's not an arena. I don't understand. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. And then Sundays are Aloha Sundays. We encourage everybody to come in their favorite Hawaiian slash Aloha gear. And then the players wear actual baseball jerseys that are <gasps> Hawaiian jerseys. Nah, uh, yeah. So this year they I have we have that. new ones. They're uh, blue jerseys with yellow flowers and red parrots on them. I wish okay. because of the studio that we're in, you can't wear your jacket, but it would that's perfect. I could try it on. Go well, parrot. Go ahead. That's perfect for Aloha. Day. This is yeah, it's also perfect for ugly outfit Wednesday. You cannot. There is nothing <laughs> ugly about this jacket. No, I think it's speaking too. I like it. I would. Wear I also it. have the shorts that match. I'm glad you didn't wear those. So how's that? See, it looks so good on me too. Seven day <laughs> forecast. Oh my gosh. We got uh, Saturday. Tomorrow's going to be 85 and sunny. We zoom on over here into Tooele. 
he's the good and that's going to be it. 74 and gloomy. <laughs> And what does gloomy mean? It means get your keister down. I don't know down, what I'm saying, folks. Uh, down to see the Ogden just, rappers. Just Rap- ignore raptors. Yeah, rappers. The, uh, that's an idea. No, it's a bad idea. The, uh, have you tried that? The Ogden rappers? Yeah. No, because we spent money to have the raptors. No, I mean like you have, have like some a group rappers come perform. Come from perform. Ogden. Oh, we've done many concerts in the ballpark. But call them the rappers. The Ogden rappers. Well, we have we have servers that are going to serve the stands this year with uh, like bringing you food and stuff. They're raptresses. Oh, that's clever. I like that. Huh? I love this. Huh? I love it more and more. And we're working on, uh, I don't know if it's going to be ready by next Wednesday, but we're working on putting menus in the cup holders and people can text orders to a number and we'll have the food delivered to you so you don't even have to leave your seat. That is wonderful. This is now the greatest you, thing ever. If you can figure out a way to do that for the bathroom, I'd be there every night. <laughs> I, I, don't, I have I don't know how I think how there's we, something called a catheter for that oh no I don't right. know how to respond I mean to that. that's just We're laziness going, this is going south in a hurry <laughs> well thank you so much for stopping by is there anything that's else that, it? is there anything else that we need to tell everyone out there uh, uh, tickets uh, yeah. call the ticket office at 393-2450 or you can go to any Smith Ticks location to get your Raptor tickets what else do we got what, uh, what are the hours of the games when do they start the game started at 7 p.m. and they last nine innings. I cannot answer your question on how long it no, lasts. I, I how long is the that? No, there is no, no clock. No, yes. It could be an hour. It could be seven hours. Is there a kiss cam? There is not a kiss cam. What about no Sunday? Don't they do Sunday games earlier in the day? Sundays are at 4 o'clock. Uh, we're playing at 7 until school starts on August 21st, and all games will be at 6.30. Sundays will remain at 4. But, uh, again... Folks, come on out. I mean, especially the people that live in the new apartment communities downtown, oh, yeah. down by the river and even mm-hmm. at the junction. So uh, nice. If you guys are watching, tuning into this, come on out. Let us know you live there, and we'll put we'll give you seats in sections A or B on the first base side um, for six bucks. That's oh, half off. Oh, my goodness. Off, just because you can walk to the ballpark. One of the things that's happening in downtown Ogden is the renaissance that's going on of – uh, of downtown Ogden truly be, becoming a, a, a pedestrian lifestyle. Yeah. Uh, the ballpark was the first thing that was built in that renaissance uh, 21 years ago. Uh, so Gosh, we'd like to think we were a big catalyst in having that go. Obviously, we're not taking credit for it because the city administration has done an amazing job mm-hmm. in attracting business and residential communities downtown. It's beautiful and, down there. But we'd like to think that the ballpark is an enhancement for people wanting to live downtown. Yeah, so, sure. If you go to like a San Francisco Giants game, nobody has a car. You, it's like the Walking Dead. Man. Mm-hmm. I, if you ever leave your ho- go to a game at, mm-hmm. at San Francisco, you walk out of your hotel room at, at five thirty six p.m. and there's fifty thousand people oh, walking geez. to the ballpark. It's remarkable, mm-hmm. and I would love to get that going here in Ogden. So anybody at the Riverview is that what that's called? The apartments there? I'm not sure. I know there's one called well, the View on Twenty. Yeah, all those all those apartments on Twentieth. If you're tuning in, or if you're over here at the Junction, come on down to the ballpark. Let us know you live there, and we're going to give you seats in sections A and B for six bucks. You can call it your own, baby. Get you don't even <laughs> have, you can drink a couple of beers because you didn't drive. So come on out and have a ball, man. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, there's honestly in a summer night, there's oh, nothing, nothing like better, and it's the best view in the it country. Is. It's been voted that. It's it well, is a nice view. You know what? Sun's coming. It's so good for that for that that ballpark being 21 years old. It's so well kept and so clean. I mean, it's not like things are busted up and things. Do, it's a nice place to go. It's you know it's what I mean. Beautiful. Yeah. I mean, I mean, you could say the same thing about Wrigley Field and Fenway I've never, Park. I've never two, been there. Thank but you. I was waiting for this. That. This park is yeah. It's 21 years old and. Clean monster. Um, uh, it was worth the wait. We played in a temporary environment for three years when we were only supposed to be there for one. At Fort Wayne Mature, right? Yeah, doing it at Lindquist Field. was the, Once we saw that location, it was the only place the ballpark could be. You could not pick that park up and put it in another city and have it be as yeah. effective as it is in downtown Ogden. It truly is Ogden's baseball park. Hmm. I love that So, story. bottom line is, go catch a Raptors game. Yeah, Don't go. sit home and be lame because it is a I'm lot of fun. It. Um I might even sling some beers. We've there. had a lot of we've had a lot of men and women meet each other there and end up becoming married. Oh. See, you like, won't even like, need. They always come Tinder. up and say thank you. What we will not do, guys, we will not let you propose to your girlfriend at the ballpark unless you notify us in advance. And we will not do it if you're sitting in general mission seats. That will be held <laughs> against you for the rest of your life by your wife. 
<laughs> it'll be your 50th anniversary, and you're going to say, we loved it, honey, it's been great 50. It was great, but you, 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 you bought us, you, you proposed to me in general mission with free. Get off your panties, <laughs> buy the best seat in the house, go get your own roses, and we'll help you propose. Yeah, don't do it on date night where you get a free rose. Come yeah, on. come on, yeah. <laughs> Do it if anything worth doing is worth doing right. That's what I think. Go big or go home. So exactly. that's what we do at the ballpark, and we do it with the uh, the support of our local fan base, our local business community. We couldn't be here without the the corporate support, and obviously the, with the city administration and all the people with Ogden City that help keep the ballpark um, the way it is. Uh, we're appreciated all of it. It's 20, 24 years, and we're hoping for another twenty four. Um, it may be my son running it. By there you way, go. But I, I may have to put my teeth in a jar right now. <laughs> no, buddy. No, buddy. Well, Number that 17. Note. That'd be no great. Francis. <laughs> we'll call you Chumpers by then. Well, thank you so much for coming out. Um, I'm so excited. Yes, go I down to your ball game. Tell it's Dave I said hi. Baseball season. Get out there, everybody. All the information will be below. Don't forget to follow us and like um, us on Instagram, Instagram and Twitter, Facebook, Facebook and Twitter. And we love you. Everywhere. Like, share, comment, hashtag. Yes. Hashtag. Hashtag.